Good morning guys, happy induction day. It is currently 5.34 January 28th in the morning. I'm getting ready. We have to be at the hospital at 6.45. Anxiety is through the roof. I'm very nervous because I've never been induced before and I honestly thought that I would have him by now. But welcome to the star of my labor and delivery vlog. Hopefully this actually makes it on the internet and I don't forget to film majority of it. I'm getting ready because I don't know how fast this is gonna go or anything like that. And I wanna look good with Oliver's birth. I, it was like more spontaneous obviously. And my makeup was crusty and dusty because we'd been to the hospital like three times and I didn't fix it, so. I'm at least gonna do my makeup this time fresh. I mean, he could still come later in the day and it could still be crusty and dusty, but at least I know that I tried. I curled my hair yesterday and these are yesterday's curls. That way they're not like as tight and stuff. So I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm nervous, and I just hope it is a good experience. I asked TikTok the other day of people's induction stories and majority of them were like really good, which is very encouraging, but some of them were a little nerve wracking. So of course that's gonna make me nervous. But again, this is my second baby. I'm already dilated to a three and they say your body is more favorable after you have one already. So I'm hoping that's the case for me. And it's literally just like a super quick induction and we have him by like two or three. That's my hope. But again, our plans could change, who knows. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then pack up the car and go. Ollie is at my parents' house already. He went there last night because we had to wake up so early to call and I didn't wanna throw him off of his routine and wake him up and just like it he would have just been a disaster so i didn't do that out of respect for him and my parents because i know they don't want to deal with a crazy ollie so he's been there i cried so much yesterday it wasn't even funny i still haven't told tiktok that i'm getting induced today and it feels weird not to like talk about it on my socials especially since like a big thing that's happening and that i've been talking about being pregnant for nine months now but TikTok will know eventually. I feel like I'll tell TikTok later, like lunchtime, I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's super exciting. So many people guessed the 28th too uh, when I asked on my Instagram story. So it's kind of funny that so many people had no idea I was getting in, like the date that I was getting induced and they actually guessed my induction date. I just didn't think I'd make it here. But okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready. And then we'll be on our way to have a baby. Makeup is done. It is currently now 5.48. We are leaving at 6.15. My induction starts at 6.45. I think I said that already. I'm nervous. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. Uh, we are going to meet my mother there because we are allowed to have two people in the room. So she will be in the room this time. She wasn't in the room for Oliver because... COVID was happening, so there was like COVID restrictions and stuff, and I can only have one, obviously that being my husband. So she's gonna meet us there, and we'll get everything started. I'm so nervous. I just feel like I can't stop babbling to you guys because I'm just like freaking out. I know it's in God's hands, and whatever is gonna happen, he has already planned out for us. I'm just nervous for like a c-section or something not that there is anything wrong with the c-section i just personally have had a vaginal birth already so i would really prefer another vaginal birth but again it's up in god's hands i've already prayed a bunch <laughs> i'm so nervous but i'm ready to meet my baby i am so excited and my husband was against oliver coming to the hospital for a little bit because obviously it's like a hospital and stuff, but I think he's gonna let him come up, which is super exciting because I wanna respect my husband's wishes as well if he doesn't feel comfortable with it because I totally get where he's coming from, but I'm just coming from, uh, I'm not gonna see my first baby for like a couple days, so I want him in the hospital like to see his brother. So 
That's what's going on. I'm wearing my airy uh, lounge waffle set, which in the olive color, and then my going home outfit is the tan color. But yeah, let's finish packing, and then we're gonna head out soon. Ugh, and I can't eat or drink anything, and I'm thirsty and hungry, of course, so that sucks. We're off to have a baby. I mean, we've done this before, but now we're having another baby. <laughs> okay, update, we are in our room now. We have been waiting over an hour for anybody to come in and like start stuff. So I'm finally hooked up to the monitor tracking him. I think I'm having contractions, but I can't 100% tell because they're like in the top of my belly and I've never had those kind of contractions before. And she's moving one of her other patients and then she's gonna come back to me. I'll get my IV check my cervix, see how dilated I am, and then we'll start a little bit of Pitocin. But right now we're just, it's a waiting game and hopefully something starts soon because I want to take a nap. <laughs> and I'm really tired. I got like four hours of sleep last night. So that's really it for the update. We're just chilling, waiting for IV and all that stuff. And then hopefully everything is smooth sailing from there. This is my room. Here's a little heartbeat. But I have a nice room. It is so big. This is bigger than what I had with Ollie. My mom and Cole over there. And we're kind of just chilling. I have a really big room this time, which is kind of nice, even though it's, I'm not going to stay in here long. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't stay in here long. We'll see. My cheeks are so red. Hmm. Okay, that's the update. I'll get you a margarita. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> update. I finally have my IV in after three attempts. It was three different people. And... Oh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, after <laughs> three people, we finally got it in. The first one hurt so bad. How many people you got it in? Three times. Wow, three. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> was attempted. <laughs> How do I word it? Are you farting? No. <laughs> How do I word it? I just, you know, they tried to get my IV in three. IV? Yeah, three separate times. <laughs> I, I give up. <laughs> um, and <laughs> I have to pee. <laughs> you really? Yeah. Uh, and now I have Pitocin started, and it's like 10:40. So I'm hoping to get my epidural within the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes because. I know these contractions are only gonna get worse. I am still three centimeters dilated and 75% of face. So I am more a face than I was on Monday. So that's very exciting. But now we are still just, you know, and the, my blood pressure is going off. <laughs> <laughs> my blood pressure is going off right now. <laughs> is this gonna mess up my blood pressure? <laughs> <laughs> okay i think i'm done for now so i have the epidural now i haven't updated since before epidural i have the epidural this time it hurt like on oh the because i think i wasn't as in much pain like when i was in labor with oliver i really couldn't think about anything else but the contraction pain because i was already almost a seven and this time I was only a three when I got it, so it definitely hurt. Did I have my IVs on? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, and then I took a big fat nap. Now we are waiting uh, about 10 more minutes, and then I will be checked again. Um, last time they checked, I said I was still only a three and 75% of face, but my contractions are getting really close together. My Pitocin's up to a 10, and I don't feel a thing, so it's wonderful. So that's really all that I have to say. Um, nothing exciting is happening, so I'm not gonna bore you guys, but I feel like contraction coming. 
But that's about it. Wait, what are guys? It's already recording. Why are you recording me? What are you talking about? I'm just learning how to work it. So how do I stop it? How do I press this? You just press the record button again. Mm -hmm. So you just press this button again. Or you this button? On. No, this button. This mm -hmm. button. No, the, the this button. This is to remind you that we're not having more kids. So how do you feel? Can you tell me? Oh, how do you feel? <laughs> you are Spanish. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I can't think. <laughs> I said on I, I camera. I can't. I can't with you. <laughs> Don't you worry. I got this up Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm totally gonna poop. Now it's the baby's head. I promise. It's not actually poop. It might be. If there is something it might be there, bad. that's okay. That's normal. Huh. But the, uh -huh. the pressure sensation that you feel is the head. He knows what it looks like. That yeah. intense urge Do is the head. head. I totally feel like I have to push though. Well, no doubt. I'm sure. Oh, you can feel it. Oh, no doubt. I'm sure. I mean, you got a lot going so on down there. It's okay. I got that Zofran going in. Okay. Oh, I felt that. All right, good. Yeah, I felt that. The door will go in. Mm-hmm. And I hear good moods. I don't <laughs> Molly said, Cole and Hannah will be pushing together. <laughs> Can't put that in the video. Good? Yeah, okay, well, give up to me. I feel a little better. Thank you. 
She's got lots of siblings. Yeah. All like... <laughs> it's okay. It's normal for the Christian stage. It's so getting a good squeeze. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I need to push. If you feel like it, let's do it. Okay. All right. Big deep breath. And push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. <sighs> and again, full breath. And push, 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 push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And again, one more. Push, 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 push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> Good job. You had seven kids. Yes, ma'am. Wow. She's number two in the lineup. Yeah, wow. I don't know how she did it seven times. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to call everybody. Yeah, I feel like he's about to come out right now. He's, he's not about to fall out. I feel like he's like, he's like, may I help you? Hey, we're ready to set up for delivery, and I'll need Neo and RT. Okay, I'll call you. Okay. <laughs> Smile, Hannah. I'll see. So beautiful. You got one beautiful wife there, you can. You got a beautiful wife there. Look, she looks like she's ready to, to like go out. No surgery. There's no surgery in that face. I'm gonna get you're gonna need surgery in five minutes. You keep talking. Yeah, for real. I do feel like I may need to push. We're just gonna try to breathe through it until everybody gets in. Like That's okay. It's okay. It's good for the contraction to do some of the movement for you without you pushing. So it's a nice slow stretch. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Let's wait for the next contraction. You look so pretty. You know you look like you've been in your pushing. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Four, keep going. Five, 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 all right, and I am going to. Oh, he's so little. Because of the.